Awesome. Joey, what's up? What's up, man? It's, uh, you know, we haven't done one of these in a couple of weeks. It's good to see your face, Tom. I know, yeah. yeah. I got a little tan. I took um, Henry and I mm-hmm. we went camping this week, which is awesome. I, I, I live near an amazing uh, state park, Bald Eagle State Park. I've never been, and awesome. uh, we just had a blast. So uh, awesome. people are out. People are ready to do things. Um, you know, people are being responsible. But uh, people need to to get that vitamin D and and just take a breath. So take a breath. What... Always always breathe and vitamin D. Lung can like a lot of people who get lung cancer who've never smoked a cigarette in their life. Um, when you look at their vitamin D levels, they have uh, they they are incredibly vitamin deficient. So vitamin D deficient. So yes, you know there's been such a campaign mostly by the sunscreen manufacturers to right. get out of the sun right but you need sun man it's uh vitamin d is is the key to so many things but yeah. that, we're not here to talk about vitamin d i, I could talk about about we could yeah. lather up tuesday you gotta lather yeah. um so uh what are we talking about what's going on yeah thing it's been a it's been a couple weeks and i kind of like that because we we can talk about what is going on in the last couple weeks and one thing that's going on is digital marketing is taking off. Um, website traffic is taking off. I mean, for obvious reasons, people are slowly getting back to the office. They're keeping their distance, but web traffic is at its height. And because web traffic is at its height, um, companies are paying a lot more attention to their websites, whatever that means, enhancing pages, um, refreshing them, updating them. Um, but a couple thing observations that you and I would pay close attention to is a lot of companies are spending a lot of time and money on these website improvements, but they're not getting the intelligence that they should around traffic. Mm -hmm. We can dive deeper into that. Um, and, and, and some reasons behind that. And another thing I've noticed too is people are using um, URLs and tracking URLs, but not a lot of companies have branded URLs, which we can talk a little bit about that too. So, uh, what what have you been saying? Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, you know the the website is becoming more important because the face to faces are becoming less frequent. Right. You know the trade shows are becoming less frequent if they ever come back. Uh, so you need a place to showcase your products and services. So that could be your website. There are other places like your LinkedIn page and your Facebook page and Instagram, et cetera, depending upon what you sell. But for the, for our target audience, the website is very important. Um, you know, uh, so as people are going to the website, you talked about analytics that, that organizations are getting, and they think they're getting great analytics. But Google Analytics gives you, all right, you know, this page got a lot of clicks. Um, You know, they came to you from a certain uh, browser on a certain device. And it's nice, okay, at a certain time of day. And so you see that type of, those types of analytics, but you don't know who. You don't know what companies. You don't even know what uh, specific people. And what a lot of people don't know is that that information is actually on your server. So if, I, if I'm in a, an office somewhere, on my office network, and I go, and you're, you have a, a website, which you do, and I go to your website, I leave a deposit, the deposit on the server that houses your website, you'll see my IP address. It'll be there. It's your information. You know, I, I, I went, I visited your website, and I left my IP address. And, and it, this, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because, you know, this, this kind of will demystify what we're doing here. It's, it's nothing crazy, really. Is all, our software, is a, it's proprietary to, to merge analytics, but we have a specific, it's much more than reverse IP technology because that means something specific to, to, to a certain type of person right, who, right. who knows this stuff. But it's, so it's a proprietary technology that takes IP reverse IP lookups to a whole other level. And so we, we take that IP address 
we run it up against a bunch of resources. Some are for free, some we pay for. Uh, and we generate with almost 100% certainty the company that was on your website. And we take it further when we get into the individuals and we can get into that, you know, as we, you know, with, with short URLs, how we actually um, capture the email addresses and with like integrations with ESPs like MailChimp that we've talked about a lot. So we can get to the individual email level, but what I'm talking about now is just straight up a website visitor intelligence in terms of uh, what companies are on your website. And that's, that was a great description of kind of how things are, are set up. You know, the short of it is, is merge analytics. What we do is we serve up information that is yours that you have. You need a PhD to, to find it right. um, in a way, in a fashion that you can, that you can use. And the reason that's important is because I, I'm, I'm, I'm always running into, it's usually the first conversation or, or maybe the second conversation I have with a, a prospect that's not too familiar with tools like ours. Mm -hmm. But, and, and they, it's funny because everyone uses the same word. Isn't that creepy? Isn't right. It, isn't it creepy to get that, that footprint or that journey? And I am here to say loudly, it's not. I'm squashing that. It is your intelligence mm -hmm. that should be handed up to you in a fashion that you can use to better service your, your um, customers and through your prospect journey. I mean, the, the experience prospects go through, you want to be on top of those step by step. And Merge Analytics allows you to do that. But I, 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 if one thing everybody I, you walk away with it's not creepy. I'm squashing that. It's intelligence that you deserve to have, and you have it. You're just not, you just don't know how to get to it. And it's just about your website. That's the other thing that I get asked. Well, all right, so if I have a visitor on our website, do I know where they go on other websites? The answer is no. We're not, we, we made, as an organization, before we even created this company, we made the decision never to use uh, third-party tracking cookies or just right. tracking cookies. Right. We, we, uh, we knew what was going on with GDPR. We knew what was going on in the EU. We saw Canada had, I forget what that's called, but it's something similar to GDPR. We knew that California was doing something similar to GDPR. And we saw the writing on the wall. Right. It hasn't exactly come to fruition but other companies are starting to get scared right. you know google made an announcement about third-party cookies yeah. on their browser yeah so it's it is happening um and we're very well we're very well positioned but you know you bring up a good point where you say is this creepy it's not creepy as you said because the intelligence is there we're just helping you uh make sense of it um uh but but that is exactly why what's taking off for us is our white labeled business. So we have marketing companies who have an established book of business, companies that have been using them for years, who trust them, who know them, right. uh, who don't know Merge Analytics. Um, but if, if you, know, you have a, an established marketing media company or you, know, you make websites for other businesses, et cetera, when you say, hey, you know, I got this analytics tool, you know, that's integrated with everything else that we're doing uh, that I can turn on for you. Uh, are you interested? Those guys, like, it's the easiest sale for them, you know? That's Whereas, for, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, but that has been a huge, the, the, again, that has come out of this whole COVID-19 um, phase uh, where we've been doing so many more white labeling because we offer such, an attractive agency pricing model yeah. that our the media companies that we work with can basically hand their customers a, a very powerful tool at very little cost. And what it does is it keeps their brand in the in front of their customers. Um, and it also it also helps with customer retention Absolutely. and it gives an extra layer to of intelligence and Back to, you know, back to Google Analytics, again, great pro it's a great product. Um, it doesn't give you everything that you, you need, you know, for, to, to, for next steps or doesn't, doesn't expose all the information. Um, 
but uh, but just so you know, Merge Analytics does work in tandem with Google Analytics as well. You know, so a lot of a lot of customers lately have been tagging um, Merge Analytics with GTM, the Google Tag Manager. So what it's doing is you take a couple tools and it serves up all the intelligence you need in a, in a dashboard fashion so that you can hand it over to your client or, or white glove it to your client. But yeah, you were gonna say something, Joe? Yeah. I, I wasn't, but it's, it, you know, specifically, I mean, we wanted to have a podcast about, about white labeling and, I mean, yeah. and, and we keep saying white labeling and I should probably define what that is. So basically, um, you know, uh, there, there's there's a few components to Merge Analytics. There's the um, the alerts that come in when somebody visits your website. It says company ABC or or an uh, an email address visited your website, and you and you see what they did. Those alerts that come in are branded uh, Merge Analytics. They have our coloring. They have everything about Merge Analytics. Okay. There's also a portal that they go in, which is also branded specifically to merge analytics right. um, and there are other things. But what a white label, uh, what that means is say a marketing company comes in, they offer, you know, they develop websites, they, they do SEO for companies, they do a bunch of stuff driving people to their website. What they do is they take what I just explained, the alerts, the portal, and they scrub everything that has to do with merge analytics, our coloring, our logo, et cetera, and replace it with their <clears throat> number one a lot of these companies aren't even charging extra for it they're like hey right. when i build a when i build a website for you you're getting these analytics right. boom now who's gonna say i don't want to know who's on my website you know right. and if they do they just shut it off great right. um and and so you know again i opening up the podcast i said you know what do these companies have that we don't and what they have, I mean, we're a two year old company, you know, they may not have heard of us. Whereas they, some of these marketing companies have these customers for over a decade, right? They trust them. So if they, if this company says, Hey, I've got this great tool, I'm just going to put this pixel on your website. They say, great. Here's, here's my uh, username and password. Can you put it on for me? Right. <laughs> Type of thing. <coughs> yeah. yeah so, no. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I just the, the the branded white labeling labeling process is just a it's just exciting and, and fun to be be a part of to 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 start you know developing that that tool specific to these media companies, and again, uh, and we started this and we'll probably tap into our fifteen minutes. Uh, you know, aside from you know hearing about all the website um, traffic, the attention companies are spending on websites and what merge analytics does offer i've had i've been having a lot of conversations and i know we wanted to have a podcast around short urls yes. a lot of conversations around the power of of branded short urls now that i mean social media where it was it's just it continues to to, to just explode and I don't see a lot of branded short URLs out there. Um, you know, they're, maybe because they're very costly. You know, I, I know I know Bitly's are very costly. Um, they might be running out of you know domains, but but we and a lot of prospects and customers don't know that that's something we do offer, and right. that is part of that white labeling product. So so before we end, maybe we we say uh, um, go back and forth like we did last podcast and say what are the two or three advantages of having a brand and short URL? I mean, the first one is the shorter, the better. It, it creates a level of veracity with your company and your brand. People will click on it more often. That's and why. share it and share and share and share. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so first of all, before I give my answer, yeah. um, we should talk about what a short URL is. Uh, okay, short, yeah, short, yeah, I, yeah, I jump ahead. Yeah, yeah. Short, short URLs, and I just learned this um, a, a few months ago. But uh, the the idea of a short URL is is exactly what it sounds like. You shorten uh, the length of a, a link. Okay, and why why did that exist, and why was that created? Twitter, Twitter. You got 120 or 140 characters, whatever it is today, um, and a URL can consume 
well, some of these URLs are three lines long. You can right. assume all of your characters that you're Nobody allowed on, on, those. A, on a Twitter post and no one clicks on it. Yeah. So a short URL shortens the URL. We take it a step further. Um, our, our short URLs, uh, they have a short URL handle, uh, vzit.co, uh, visitco, just like a bit.ly, has, it's bit.ly and whatever follows after. So we have the ability to create, to shorten URLs and you can customize the URL. So not only can you make it smaller, you could put a description as to what you're actually going to click right in the URL. Even though underneath is all the other stuff that the three lines or four lines or whatever that link is, you condense it. You tell the the, the person who, who who is going to click it what it is, and then you get the analytics because it's a a merged analytics short URL. We'll tell you if we can identify the bit, the company name. And in, this is you know we talk about integrating with Mailchimp and Microsoft Dynamics and other ESPs and CRMs. It's via the short URL that this integration is taking place. Our other competitors talk about integrations all the time. Most of them, probably 99% of our competitors do not have the short URL capability, right. which I believe is the key ingredient, the X factor of why people must have Merge Analytics. It's because of the short URL. None of our competitors seem to have it. But that is how the integrations are happening. I don't, I don't understand how the integrations in, in other ways are happening. And the reason why it's happening is because we embed, uh, when somebody clicks it, we embed um, uh, some logic that will tell you uh, the specific person in your MailChimp or in your Dynamics or whatever CRM or ESP you're using, who actually did the clicking. So that's right. where the integration is happening. Right. So in short, that's my favorite thing about the short URL, right. is, the, is the fact that it gives us the ability to integrate with, with a MailChimp. You know, I send, I send out a mailing in MailChimp. I, I, I create my short URL in merged analytics. I put, I plunk it into the MailChimp mailing. And when I send out a thousand emails and some, and, and 800 people click that link in my email, I know the specific person, right. the specific email address of the person who not only clicked my link, but where they went after on my website. Right. They might've gone to one landing page, but spent time on a, on a completely different page that I would never have guessed that they'd be interested in. I never would have known that information right. without this. Absolutely. I mean, short URLs are, are so powerful. And I don't, think, I don't think a lot of people know the real power behind them. And, and again, when you generate, you generate short URLs using the Merge Analytics portal, you can generate multiple short URLs, one for LinkedIn, right. Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. And then you can use those short URLs for your social media posts and then start doing some A-B testing. You can start, you can start seeing which, which platforms are outperforming and underperforming. That's exactly right. And most people think, I'll throw a link out there, I'll see the tracks, and guess what? A lot of these tracks are bots and crawlers, and it's True. just not. We accurate. filter those out. It's we filter those out, and, we, and it's just not accurate information. So, so the power, and and we want to talk more about this because the yeah. power, uh, the 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 URLs aren't going away. The name right. of the game is how you get people to click on the URLs, and then what's behind the traffic. So if you're just getting opens and likes or you're, you're monitoring that monitoring monitoring that you're not getting the full picture if you if you create short urls in merge analytics you're driving them somewhere to a landing page and then you're capturing the entire experience the entire journey from that click to purchase or to phone call or to softly meeting this person well what you just said is the most important aspect of the short URL. It gives you the entire journey yes. from initial click. Where did that? Where did this person find you? Was it LinkedIn? Right. I thought they would find us from Twitter or right. Facebook. I can't believe you came to us from LinkedIn. You never would have known that without the short URL. And it's not just that first click. It's the first click, and then where they? Where do they go after that? And oh, by the way, where do they return to later on? And so maybe that would yeah. that would prompt some more money going you might want to do some more linkedin advertising exactly. or more facebook like or, or it, less or, or less exactly <laughs> yeah yeah so so the we 
I mean, I'd like to continue more conversations, yeah. Joey, about, about the short URL because, again, website traffic and the it, short URL, everyone knows what a URL is. Everyone, you know, posts them. But again, it's really behind the URL as far as are people clicking it? How do we, how do we increase the, the initial click? And then, then watching that journey unfold is that's the magic. I mean, that's the real meat and potatoes around what we do. And, and it, and we probably should wrap this up, but it's a real differentiator between us and our competitors. It is. And that, that's a, that's a big one. Um, so yeah, there's nothing left to say after that. I mean, it's, uh, (laughs) that's seriously, that's the differentiator that and price, but, uh, you know, I, I'd even think, that is more important than price. Uh, the short, I agree. the short URL for a digital marketer to to really understand where where your traffic is originating from and going and and you know the success of your posts uh, from from ver- the various places. But uh, I'm gonna take a breath. Uh, it's a, it's a nice day, a little cloudy, but, uh, it's all good. Yeah, man. I, I really enjoy these talks. I think they're helpful for uh, if nothing else for you and me. Uh, yeah. but hopefully our audience gets something out of it because, you know, I, I always say, and I'll leave you with this, but you know, you and I, we live and breathe this stuff. So we find it like, Oh yeah, yeah. Short URLs. Most people are like short URL. What is that? You know? So most people are doing their, their jobs and they're not worrying about this stuff, but uh, it's our job to convey this in a way that is understandable to the masses. And uh, you know, it's, it's forums like this that help that. Yeah. That and happens. if anything is, if we, if you need us to, you know, talk more about something or if something's confusing, um, call us, just yeah. call us, you know, call Joe or Tom and we're, we're here. We're here for you. So yeah. Awesome. Right, dude. Hey, cheers. I'll talk to you soon, Joey. All right, man. Later.